Hello all. I know it's sunny. I kind of want it to be sunny for this because uh, I just, I posted a video about a week ago or so about how I pin my no batting quilts. I'm actually going to kind of redo that one too because the camera cut things off and I am not the most technological person ever. So um, I have no idea how to edit videos and stuff. So you kind of get the raw, you know, uh, thing. <laughs> Don't expect any of my videos to be polished, please. They won't be. Um, but one of the questions I had was a fantastic question and it was, um, basically, you know, can you see it from the other side? I can't remember how exactly it was word. I think her name was Emily and, uh, yeah, so great question. And I do have, uh, this here upstairs. This is, um, and so I brought downstairs. You didn't really need to know that. But anyway, it's a bed runner and it's Lori Holt patterns. I don't actually like a lot of Lori Holt patterns. I find they're just, and yes, I saw that in some of my comments as well. Way too busy. And yes, honestly, way too busy. Um, but she did do some quilt seeds, these little patterns, and they were flowers and they're so cute. And I did actually fall in love with these things. And I am making more. And this one here is a bed runner. And they are the little quilt seeds. This does not have batting in it. And it's uh, just a, you could always make this a massive table runner too. It would be way bigger than my table, but you could. This cute bed runner, make an awesome quilt. Um, so this was a great example on what does the back look like? So I did do this in white because my front is, well, it's an off-white. It's called La Cream by um, Riley Blake. That's what I use. So that's a lot on the front. So here's what the back looks like. And this is why I want it sunny. So you can see it's kind of like stained glass, actually. It's quite cute. Depending upon how you've done your pattern, what your pattern is, you will definitely see it on the other side. Although if I put this down on the table, you actually can't see it very much at all. Very, it, it, there's a sh shadow, but that's about it. And actually, if I sort of cover it up, how this here looks at the moment is pretty much how it's looking on the table. You just see the white. Um, you can see bits of maybe there's a shadow underneath, but not a whole lot. It's actually not too bad. But if your front is a ton of patchwork, let's just say there's almost no white and it's a lot of nice big colorful blocks or half square triangles or whatever it is, you can do anything on the back because it's not going to show. It's only going to show if you're using a lot of light colors. So, um, but it's also the back of the quilt. So I know if it's on a bed, you're probably going to see it because you're rolling that back more often. So you will see a bit more of the back. Um, if it's on top of other stuff, like a sheet or something, you're probably never going to notice. So don't be, don't over criticize yourself and, and don't be like, Oh, someone's going to notice that if, if someone really notices that and it bugs them that much, they did not deserve your quilt. Okay. They did not deserve to see the amount of work that you just put into this and the amount that you put into putting it together and quilting it, sewing it buying the material the whole bit just that's not a very good friend okay yeah they're just mean people so I wouldn't worry too much about that because really it's the last thing you need to worry about it's the same with table runners you know everyone's like oh I need to have this pristine back table runner if someone actually comes to your table oh I see a flaw Ooh. that's a really mean person yeah so don't, don't be mean it's okay it's on the back of the thing Okay, anyway, I hope that helps. I hope that answers that question because that was a fantastic question. And uh, if you have any other questions, just let me know and I will definitely um, go through that with you. All right, have a great day.